All right, well, don't shoot the, shoot the messenger here. COVID cases across the United States continue to rise, including here in Idaho. And things were looking better and better this past spring, but now the Delta variant is creating new issues. That Delta variant of COVID believed to be far more contagious than other strains, and its recent emergence in North America is a key factor for experts when explaining why we are seeing such a surge in new cases. You couple that with less than desirable vaccine rates, and you've got a fresh set of issues as we head into this fall. A major concern how recent COVID trends will affect Idaho schools this fall. And Joe Paris, you heard from Idaho's experts mm -hmm. today on this topic. He joins us with insight on what these schools could look like when it comes to COVID this fall. A major point still uh, for those under 12, vaccines and kind of where we stand with that. Yeah, I mean, there's still not a vaccine, Brian, for those under 12. So long story short, people are asking, well, what's the difference between this fall and really heading into last fall? Um, th there's no really fact that you know has prompted questions about why school districts are telling students that there will be no masks required this fall. Now, the major districts here in the Valley, including Boise, West Ada, Nampa and Caldwell, they've all taken the stance that they will not require masks this fall. Of note, when those decisions were made earlier this year, the COVID situation in Idaho, a lot different than what we're seeing right now. Now, just today, Health and Welfare Director Dave Jepson said, quote, Unfortunately, I wish I had better news. The overall state COVID numbers have taken a turn for the worse in the past few weeks. All the key COVID-19 items that we watch closely are now heading the wrong direction. In part, the root of the problem is suspected to be more contagious Delta variant. Now, I spoke to school parents who asked why students who can't get a vaccine yet, those under 12, why would they be asked to wear a mask a year ago, but not now? Simply put, a year ago, the virus was circulating and the best defense was aggressive COVID protocols like masks. Well, the best defense right now is a vaccine, but again, there's not one available for most elementary and middle school students. Now I asked state epidemiologist Dr. Christine Hahn if there was a scientific argument against having kids mask up this fall if they can't get a vaccine. Here's her insight. There was a study that had been published uh, recently that had suggested, you know, carbon dioxide buildup behind the mask. Some parents or some people were concerned about that and that has been retracted. So right now there is no scientific evidence of any harm, you know, for the vast majority of people, including children, to wear masks. Uh, and so, as Elke mentioned, really, it's going to be a policy decision. There's not a scientific reason to not wear masks, I guess is the way I put it, uh, that it's really going to be a policy decision on the part of the schools with hopefully our uh, advisory committee's input. And you just heard Dr. Hahn allude to the fact that health and welfare, they will soon be meeting with education stakeholders in the coming weeks to talk about the science behind what's happening right now in Idaho and what considerations there should be for COVID protocols. So beyond that, another question, at what point would health and welfare recommend stricter COVID protocols like masks indoor for everyone, regardless of vaccine status, like we're seeing in Los Angeles, California right now? Well, Director Jepson couldn't really give a real specific of a tipping point where they would actually change their recommendations, but he did say that they are going to continue to monitor important data like hospital and ICU capacity, as well as case counts. Brian, there's a belief uh, among the scientific community that there is a situation heading into the fall where things could lead to another wave of COVID. That's something we want to avoid, especially with the vaccine, hopefully available just around the corner for those under 12. All right, really quickly, uh, the Delta variant. We still do not have a really good way of detecting that in Idaho. Is that true? The state of Idaho will admit they had some trouble in the past of monitoring that Delta variant because it takes time to send it to get it sequenced and to get all the information done. But this afternoon they did announce there's a renewed effort with the local hospitals as well as the VA medical system to work on sequencing more of that variant to get an idea of just how prevalent it is and just early work on that. Brian, they know there's more cases than they thought and that it is assumed that once this variant is in the community and it's contagious, it's out there. And we could start to see those numbers go even higher. Worth pointing out, too, that uh, carbon dioxide or dioxide study with about masks and kids that they said was retracted. Lieutenant Governor McGeehan quoted that and tweeted that out earlier this month. So now we know that it is no longer viable. All right. Thanks, Joe.